Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar with another topic of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and that is DHCP server. We all know what the DHCP server is. We need DHCP server for assigning IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server dynamically or automatically for the DHCP client. And in this session, we will see how to configure DHCP server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. As we are configuring DHCP server in RHL 7 in a virtual machine, we are using VMware Workstation Pro 12 version. We will have to change some settings in our host machine as well as in VMware interface setting because VMware also provides DHCP servers for the, for the VMware client system or DHCP virtual machines. So we will have to disable that, uh, that DHCP server so that our, our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 server can perform like a DHCP server. So what first of all we have to do is disabling VMware default DHCP service from your host machine. So first of all I am accessing my host machine and to disable DHCP server I will just go to service setting that is services.msc. I am accessing all the service and as you can see when I so what I have to do here is I have to disable this DHCP service so stop it so we have stopped the uh, default DHCP, uh, DHCP service of uh, VMware software and now we can proceed with the VMware system and what we have to do as you can see here we have already installed our, uh, our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 764 bit as well as for the uh, for the DHCP client I have installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 664 bit our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 will perform like a DHCP server and we will configure our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 as a DHCP client. So what we have to do in virtual machine is we have, uh, will have to access the settings of virtual machine and make sure that your interface network adapter setting is selected as host only. So I have already selected this option as you can see here for the client also you can see the setting of this virtual machine network adapter setting and its host only network so that uh, we can con uh, so that your virtual machine can con uh, connect with each other as a host only system so proceed with the topic now uh, we have uh, disabled the default DHCP service from VMware as well as we have configured the interface as as host only so we can proceed for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. So I am just turning on the DHC, uh, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. As we have changed all the pre settings, so we can proceed with the Red Hat Enterprise Linux to configure DHCP server. So first of all, log into your system. As you can see here, I am logging with the root user account, and I am using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 64-bit server. So before starting, make sure that all your pre-settings are properly configured. Like we have already discussed what are the pre-settings before configuring any server that is interface configuration as well as host name and all, all other uh, required services. So what I have to do here is, first of all, I'll configure my interface like we will use nm nmcli connection modify ens33 ens33 is the interface name and ipv4 address will be 192.168.20.1 slash 24 is the subnet mask and ipv4 gateway will be 192.168.20.1 itself and IPv4 dot DNS DNS address will be 192.168.20.1 and if I want to set IPv4 dot DNS search address dot search happen search one I, it will be nux com we have already configured the next domain in previous video so the yum server and dns server is already configured with this system so you don't have to worry about that 
So we have set our IP address now. Uh, what next we have to do is I'm going to define that the IP address will be manual for the interface. So I will use command nmcli connection modify ENS33 IPv4 method will be manual. manual and now what we have to do is to active the service nmcli connection mod up ens 33 and as you can see here that our interface is activated properly and it must be working very well so what we have to do is to verify the configuration config ens 33 as you can see here we have set our ip address subnet mask and the broadcast address or we can verify by pinging the IP address of 20.1 as you can see here we are getting reply from this server and in previous video we have already configured with this uh, already configured DNS server YUM server and FTP server with this system so we will directly proceed for uh, uh, for the DHCP server configuration here but uh, let me verify or let me check if the service is running properly so i will use command system ctl ctl start named and start v vs ftpd sorry ft pd meanwhile i am disabling my uh, firewall and sc linux set and force 0 so that we can properly access our server fire uh, system ctl stop firewall d so now we can proceed for the server configuration dhcp server configurations so what we have to do here is we will have to install dhcp package so yum install dhcp CP and as you can see here we are installing DHCP package these are this is the version architecture and this is the version and we are installing from YAM server we have previously configured with the system so we have installed DHCP's uh, DHCP RPM package and now we will proceed for the configuration of DHCP server so what uh, the main configuration file of DHCP server is slash etc DHCP DH, DHCP D dot conf this is the main configuration file but uh, there is nothing right now so what we have to do is when we have installed our DHCP RPM package we, uh, there is an example file for the DHCP configuration file and that is user share share doc dhcp version 4 and there must be dhcp d dot con file this is an example file so what we have to do is we will have to copy this file cp to etc dhcp to dhcpd dot con file yes and now we have the dhcp server main configuration file dot dhcpd dot con and as you can see here we have copied example file here and we are getting lots of things here but uh, you don't have to bother much just go down uh, as you can see i'm just enabling the line number here and you can see that there is the option a slightly different configuration for an internal subnet so we can use this subnet for uh, this configuration for our internal 
DHCP server. So, what we have to do is there is some subnet information here that is we will have to change this one. So, I am changing the configuration 192.168.20.0 network and subnet mask will be 0 and what further range what range we will use here is 192.168.20.100 and till 192.168.20.0. Dot 150, whatever range you want, and what will be the domain name server? I am just signing here. We have configured our DNS server nux.com, so I am assigning here. And what will be the domain name? Domain name will be nux.com. The nux.com DNS server we have configured in our previous video, and what default gateway the client will use that 20.1 and if you want to assign the broadcast address you can use here 192.168.20.255 is the broadcast address so you will have to configure this much like that is line number 46 to 54 or uh, uh, 55 and we are going to save it and now what we have to do is to active and start our service so what we have to do here is activating our dhcp DHCP server. So, system CTL start DHCP D. D is the daemon. So, the DHCP server has started now and now the time to verify if the DHCP server is working properly. So, I am accessing my, our second client that is RHCL 6. We will use this system as a DHCP client server. So, let us start the system. So now we are at the login screen of client system. So I'm logging with the root user. So here we are. Now I would like to verify what the interface configuration is right now yet I have config and as you can see here when the system is booted the IP address from 192.168.20.100 the first address from, uh, from the range of DHCP server it has already taken so how to verify whether the IP address is taken from your DHCP server just access your server and see the lease information of your server you can verify here user lib dhcp where sorry where lib dhcp dhcp and that dot lease you just verify it and as you can see here the service id lease address is here the detail about your lease information is here so your system has assigned ip address to which mac address that mac address is 0.00.0c.29.d0.b7 colon b1 and this mac address must be for uh, must be of your dhcp client system so let's verify it as you can see here this MAC address is using IP address from the DHCP server. So, what next we can do with the DHCP server is if you want to assign some specific IP, IP address for a, a particular system, you can use that. You can use uh, the fixed IP address assigning method, and that is in. main configuration file dot con and as you can see here
as you can see here there is the option here that fixed IP address can also be specified for the host and here it is so I want to assign like and MAC address of your client here you just define here the MAC address of client so what the MAC address 000 C uh, 00 colon 0 C colon two nine D zero two nine D zero colon B seven B one B seven colon B one. So to this MAC address, I would like to assign IP address of uh, 192.168.115, sorry 20.115. So I want to assign uh, our host machine or the client DHCP client machine as 115, the specific IP address instead of, of any IP address from the range, I would like to assign the fi a fixed address to the DHCP client. So, I will save this configuration and I will start again the DHCP service. So, system CTL, CTL start DHCP D and now let us see what happen if we ask for the IP address from the DHCP server you can directly type here service network in previous version of Linux operating system we, we use this command to res restart our network service so I am using this command that will deactivate your interface and will assign IP address from now I can verify the IP address must be 115 as you can see here that there is an IP address assigned to your system a fixed IP address for your MAC address so you can add multiple uh, multiple uh, MAC address for an, a specific IP address and you can use DHCP server very well. So, we have a DHCP server work in a very uh, very proper working condition and there is no uh, there is no any uh, critical steps earlier we used in our previous version. So, if you have configured your DHCP server in previous version of Linux it will be very easy task for you and you can easily understand uh, the changes in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. So guys, I hope uh, this video will help you to configure Red, uh, DHCP server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 well and you can uh, further edit your, uh, uh, edit your configuration as per your requirement and I hope you like this video and for the further topic of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 be subscribed with our channel and do share with your friends and till then bye bye